Hey guys, hope you are enjoying your day. Uh, just a little quick kind of intro to the intro. Um, this is a video that I made previously. Um, I'm on my other channel. I'm shutting down my other channel and there's some content over there that I didn't really want to lose. I want to stick it on this channel. So if you've already watched this video, thank you very much. If you haven't, hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Today we are checking out this bottle of whiskey, and I've had this for a little while, it was actually a Christmas present last year uh, from my friend Gordon, uh, massive massive thanks to that, to Gordon for this, um, I've been having a little sip, there's not much left of it guys to be honest, that's why I'm doing the video now, um, but he bought this and sent it over from Ireland for me, which was a lovely lovely gesture, and yeah, it's called The Quiet Man, uh, The Quiet Man 8 year old single malt Irish whiskey, and it's oak bourbon, oak, oak bourbon cask matured and um, eight years old. Uh, it's bottled in Derry in Northern Ireland. Um, now it says here eight year, eight year maturation in bourbon casks gives the malt a sweet yet spicy note while retaining the pot still complexity of the whiskey. I don't really know what an awful lot of that means, but it's there. Um, what else can I tell you about the bottle? This bottle is a 700ml bottle. It's 40% alcohol. And... I think it was made by a guy whose father... It says here, my father was a bartender for over 50 years. Sometimes he would bring me into work with him, and so I grew up loving the sounds of laughter, blah, 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 blah. Uh, right. Uh, the bottle is corked, it's not a screw on, it's a cork top, uh, it's, it's got some uh, some engraving on the bottle saying the quiet man, uh, craft distillery. Um, so, one of these bottles will set you back, I was actually quite surprised when I saw this because I thought it was a cheap whiskey he sent me but it certainly is not, well I suppose it really depends what you classify as very expensive, but 30, around about 35, 36 pounds for this bottle of whiskey. And you can pick it up in most places in Ireland and a little search on the Google and it's available in quite a number of places as well. So um, if you are want to check this out, you won't have a problem getting one. Uh, this is It says here, this is an eight-year-old Irish single malt whiskey from the Quiet Man range. So there must be a range. Um, I would probably guess he's probably got a single malt whiskey that's not um, in bourbon barrels I'm giving that a smell by the way in case you're for the visually impaired as my friend says what am I getting here I've got to say let's get it poured first so I can get a little bit closer to it because the bottles um It's a good job I did the video now. I mean, we've literally got one, maybe one more uh, glass out of this, but... Uh, let's see. It's a little bit of an oily whiskey. I mean, it's on the glass. You can see it kind of sliding down there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I can see it. A little bit of an oily whiskey. I mean, the, the thing that jumps out at, you at, the, at the nose is, is honey. Uh, very, very sweet. There's maybe toffee or fudge or some sort of baked good flavour smell. Maybe is that apple? I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I'm not really the best at the nose part, guys. To be perfectly honest, but the thing that jumps out is honey. It's vague. It's got a nice, sharp, sweet honey smell. Okay, let's get a little taste then, shall we? <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, it's not smooth. There is a bit of heat to it. Spicy. I mean, it's spicy, that's for sure. 
I'm getting like vanilla flavouring and also apple or pear. I think I'm getting a little bit of both. I'm actually not getting any honey, so therefore that's probably, um, I'm probably picking up the smell a little bit wrong there, but it's spicy. It's got an okay taste. I don't really know what else, how to describe it, to be honest. Maybe a little bit of orange. It's an awful lot of flavours I'm giving you there. I mean, I'm definitely getting that, some sort of apple. I think there's pear or some other fruit in there. It's a spicy oak at the back. It's one of those whiskies. I'm not a whiskey expert in any means whatsoever. My pal John, he's he knows a lot more about it than I do. He makes his own and does all sorts of stuff with it. Hi to John, by the way, in case you're watching my friend. Hopefully little Eden's not keeping you up too late at night and you're still getting yourself a little dram before you go to your bed. Um, he's actually a policeman, so stay safe out there, mate. Uh, right, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's not, I mean, I've drank the whole bottle of it, that shows you that it's actually not bad. The, it's it's not overly, it's, it's got a spice to it, it's got a heat to it, you know, but it's that kind of, you're not going to sit here and drink this whole bottle, you're going to sit and have a little sip and let it, let it, let it heat your body, you know, feel the heat, let it, let it go through your face and let, you know, feel that enjoyment of the, of the whiskey. Um, it's the best way I can describe it. You're getting some fruity flavours. You're getting some. I, I, I would at the end there's some maybe some cinnamon. I'm not sure. To be honest, I might be guessing that. Uh, does it say it on the bottle cinnamon or something? And I've maybe just read it and just thought yeah, that's what I'm getting. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. But it's uh, it's not a bad whiskey. I mean, it's not expensive. It will give you. You'll get pushed on it obviously and and yeah it gives you those complex flavors of fruits now you're probably going to get different fruits that's what whiskey does isn't it i could taste it you could drink it and probably get apricots and and, and ginger and all that kind of stuff whereas i'm getting kind of apple uh honey you know maybe maybe fudge is it fudge or toffee one of the i'm not really sure but it's you know, those are the kind of flavours that I'm getting from it. Uh, it's got a nice heat to it. It is a, a, a spicy whiskey. There's an oak, you know, the oak. But yeah. All over. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, oh. Uh, so yeah, guys, that is The Quiet Man, a fear goon. The Quiet Man, eight-year-old Irish malt. Massive thanks to Gordon for sending it on, guys. Massive thanks to you for watching. Uh, I've noticed the subscribers on this channel have shot way up by about 50 in the last two weeks, so that's nice. Um, massive thanks to everybody that's watching. Um, guys, comment section. If there's anything you want to see me review, whether it be food, whiskey, beer, cider... A uh, movie, TV show, whatever you like. I actually just finished binge watching Cobra Kai season three, so we might do a little video on that. Um, but I'm giving it maybe a week or so for people to actually see it because it's, um, it's hard to do it without giving spoilers away. So, um, yeah, I'll do my best. I do have a couple other malts uh, to talk about over the course of the next couple of weeks. We've also got a couple of different Jack Daniels. I know you might be thinking that's a bit boring, but you know, I, I do like my Jack Daniels and I managed to get myself a bottle of that Apple Jack Daniels for Christmas. Well, I bought it myself. I never got it for Christmas. I bought it to drink at Christmas and I never did um, because people bought me gifts that included whiskey and that was nicer than the one that I bought myself. So that was uh, shelved. So we'll, do, we'll check that out together as well. That'll be a first taster for me. 
Um, and we've got some other stuff to do as well, guys. So hopefully you're joining in in the McCartney's nonsense. The benefit of this channel is I can do anything I want on this channel. Um, I've got the vaping channel, Vape Don't Smoke, by the way, if you don't if you don't know. I've got Vape Don't Smoke, but, you know, over the years I tried to do different things on that channel. I tried to do Wacky Wednesday, where I reviewed something that was completely out with vaping. But, of course, that's not what that channel is. So, you kind of have to... You have to kind of go with what your ballpark audience wants. So when I started McCartney's Nonsense, it was literally no holes barred. It was for me to talk nonsense on whatever I want. So today it's whiskey. Yesterday it was Wonder Woman. Tomorrow it may be Tenant's Lager. Who knows? Guys, just come along for the ride. Thank you very much for subscribing, watching. I love you all. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you on the next one.